all right so on the screen we got super falcons players at the dinner table well it seems like they're done with dinner and onto their cell phones but the nff have announced that there are 19 players in camp at the moment of course we have four players dropping out we talked about that in the previous video Hali matu ayinde osinachi ohale christy uchebe and regina o2 and in that video we talked about esto yenezide coming into the team and i also said akuro bona was a player that should have been brought into the team well i guess she was already brought into the team and that was just not reported now speaking of reports we got a couple of those to discuss on today's roster first we got the conflicting times for the start of the match then we got the absence of randy waldron from the match and also the reason why super falcons defender ashley plumpton won't be available but before we get into these though please don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thank you very much so yeah the super falcons will be taking on ethiopia in the first leg of their olympic qualification double header the match will be played tomorrow wednesday the 25th of october and it will be hosted at the Bebe bikila stadium in addis ababa ethiopia now the conflicting time situation comes like this the FA, the Ethiopian FA, came out and said the match will be played 9.30 p.m. Ethiopian time. Of course, we're two hours behind Ethiopia, so I'm saying 7.30 p.m. But then Google comes with their own saying the match is going to be played 1.30 p.m. Nigerian time. So I don't know which is which. You can just do this. Since we know where the game is going to be played, it's going to be played on YouTube. I mean, not where it's going to be played, where it's going to be broadcasted. It's going to be broadcasted on YouTube. So you can just check it out 1.30. If it doesn't show then, you know it's 7.30. But if it does show then, you check it out. The link is going to be in the description. They've not put the link for the exact match but you get the link to their channel they're definitely gonna be showing it they've promoted it and everything so they're definitely gonna be putting it on there either way it goes just keep tabs on it and hopefully we all get to watch the match because that's one thing to be preparing for a match then all of a sudden miss it so i'll definitely keep you guys informed on the situation then next up we get randy waldrum randy waldrum apparently is gonna be missing the first leg against ethiopia he's not gonna be there it's gonna show up for the second leg which will be played the 31st of October but this match right here is gonna be coached by his assistants his assistants have been with him basically since he took the job and this is a big big job for him right here and it's just crazy it's like everything that is going to happen always happens when the super falcons need to qualify for the olympics i don't know what's with it i know this is not such a serious situation but it's so serious for me because we've missed this ticket so many times and i don't even want to see anything go wrong because i get skeptical and i'm one person who doesn't get skeptical but this situation right here is real serious randy waldrum's not gonna be there i believe pittsburgh got a couple of matches or got a match on the day or in between those days they're in a tight playoff race just lost a big one i saw the result i was like oh man because they're a team that could get into the playoffs that should get into the playoffs but it's been real tough they played a tough schedule they've been playing some good football we've seen the burrow builders highlight they play some good football they just had the match with jennifer taking east florida state they lost that match so i believe they just need him around at least for this one or two then he's gonna be there for the second one which is what we signed up for so you i mean as much as you want your coach for a match like this and we know the importance of the olympics we've not been there in so long but you know what you signed up for you signed up for a coach who's gonna do two jobs so it's going you're gonna have to bend a little bit when it comes to that situation so the team is gonna be coached by justin magudu Anche Jene, i believe she coached abia angels last season and awal makwala those are the three coaches that are going to be in charge against ethiopia and moving on we go on to the last topic which is ashley plumpter a lot of people have been talking about ashley plumpter ashley plumpter has come out and spoken about the match this is the statement right here she said wishing my girls the best of luck in the upcoming olympic qualifiers prayer hand 
I believe I must listen to my body in order to bring all of myself to this special team. Always proud to wear the Super Falcons green and I look forward to representing the colors again soon. So there it goes right there. She's thinking about her health. You know, she's the one who probably told the coach, hey, I, I need this little bit of time. She just moved to Saudi Arabia, so she needs time to settle in. She doesn't need to be going in and out at this point. She just got there. I mean, so we got to understand that in that situation. So, yeah, Super Falcons of Nigeria set to take on Ethiopia in Olympic women's qualifiers. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank y'all for watching. Peace.